Hello, I'm Mira from Alaya Pilates. I hope you are well. The world is currently facing the greatest challenge, but I believe there is a light at the end of the tunnel. I'd like to invite you to find a sense of peace during this challenging time through this class. I know for myself that for me to find a sense of peace, I, I, I need to move. I'm a mover. I need to connect my mind, my head, and my body, let them work in harmony through my breath, and just explore and see whatever the movement takes me to. And that's for me, it's a sense of peacefulness. So I'd like to invite you to explore and find your own peace through this class. Okay, let's start. I'd like you to kneel at the back of the mat. All right, just kneeling like so. All right, I want you to close your eyes for a second. Take a moment. Breathe. There is no right and wrong in this class. Whatever feels comfortable, whatever feels good for you. And take a deep inhalation. And exhale. Make your breath visible, whether it's louder, deeper, bigger, and just breathing in and exhale. Trying to slowly find that sense of release in the shoulder and the neck in your cheekbones, in your arms. And the next inhalation or exhalation, I want you to just start rolling your shoulder, rolling up and back. Keeping the movement quite fluid, easy. Perhaps you're gonna start rolling your neck around. Whatever you like to do to release that tension in that shoulder and neck region. Shake your arms if you need to. And now let's inhale. You can open your eyes and take your arms overhead. And exhale, releasing the arms down. Again, inhale, nice and easy. Lightness in the arms, lightness in the shoulder. And in breath. Try to work with your breath throughout the class. Find easiness in the joints, one more. The neck inhalation, we're gonna take yourself into an all four quad press. And an exhale, just set the pelvis back. And an inhale, onto the quadruped position. And exhale, adjust your knees and your hips to where you feel comfortable at this point. And let's do two more here. And exhale. And last one. And exhale. Coming back into a quadruped position again here. Align the shoulders and your hands and your knees and your hips. Taking a moment here. Deep inhalation. And exhale drawing that abdominal wall closer to your spine. Allowing your spine to stretch out, keeping that curve in the spine. And inhale, one more. Exhale, lightness in your neck. And the next exhalation, let's take it into a cat stretch here. So breathing out, I want you to flex the spine. 
hand back to a nice neutral position. Inhale, coming into an arch and back to a nice neutral. Exhale and center. Inhale, arch and back. One more. Exhale and flatness. Inhale, arch and flatness. Exhale, let's go into cat stretch again. Now we need to just press back or push back and then back into round back cat stretch into an arch and then push back, sit on that pelvis and then coming back over your hands and your knees and rounding the back and pushing back and coming over into an arch and pushing back and mobilizing that spine this today and run back and bring it over into a flat and arch and sit back and let's stay here guys coming into a nice long spine one deep inhalation again and connecting that center back tucking the feet under lifting the pelvis into an upstretch position or downward facing position here and allowing your sitting bone to elongate out of the spine your shoulders to stay nice and broad neck nice and easy and then we're going to lower one heel down lifting the other heel up and we're going to switch and use your breath as you do this prancing movement and releasing the heel, stretching that calf, the hamstring. Let's do one more each side. And let's lower both heels down here. And let's stay here for one deep set of breath. And I want you to bend the knee, come up into a hovering quadruped, and then shoot it back again to a downward facing dog or your upstretch position. And again, hovering back into a quadruped, and lengthen back out again into a upstretch. Two more, and we're going to hover, drawing that center in, and lengthen out. One more. And we're gonna lengthen out here and staying here in, to, in your upstretch position. I'm gonna take the leg further away from the screen up to a little arabesque, whatever arabesque you can do today. And then we're gonna bring your body into a plank and stack that leg on top of the other heels. And then we're gonna lengthen out again into that arabesque and bring your body down into a plank, cross the back leg, and again, one more. And into that plank. And last one, to the arabesque. Now I want you to take that leg, my right leg, your back leg, into a pigeon-like position, and lowering the back hip down, and just stay here. Finding that sense of grounding of that pelvis down on the floor. And elongation of the spine out of the pelvis, out of the head. One more breath. And I'm gonna rotate towards you, towards the screen, lifting that front knee up, taking the arm up over for a nice side stretch. In breath and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Coming up, bring yourself back into that pigeon and then lift the back leg, bring it out into your front support and pushing up into your upstretch position again. And we're gonna lift the other leg up. This is my left leg, leg closer to the screen and then onto your front support or your plank with a cross leg behind and lengthen it out again into a little arabesque and bring it down into your front support and bring it out again into your arabesque 
and down. I think that was three. And on the last one, the fourth one, we're gonna take that back leg forward onto a pigeon-like position, reaching the other leg down and finding that grounding sensation in the pelvis, a balance weight on the left and right. And one more. And we're gonna rotate, I'm gonna rotate away from you from the screen. And then taking one arm over, reaching out into your lateral stretch. And exhale, find that nice deep stretch on the side of your body. One more. And I'm bringing yourself back again into the pigeon. And then lifting the back leg up, shoot the front leg, stay in the front support here. And let's take one leg up for your leg pull front. We lift up. And three more. And two. And one. Place that foot down. And take the other leg up and we we'll lift. And two. Three more. And two more. And one. Place the foot down. Bend the knee. Push back. And we're going to jump forward and come one, two, three. Stepping up and take your feet forward here. All right, lift the heels off the floor for a sec into a rolling like a bow position. And we're just going to find your balance on your tailbone as you round that spine, but keeping that elongation of the spine here. Just take a moment. <sighs> Bring that balance into your center as you take your feet off. Find the easiness in the shoulder, connecting the breath, connecting the shoulder to your breath, connecting your center with your breath. Let's go for rolling like a ball here. We inhale to roll back and an exhale. And again, inhale and finding that balance in that center again, using your breath. Easy neck, easy shoulder, and creating a nice good hit in your center. Two more. Last one. Okay, toes down, lifting and elongating that back. Try to get as much length in that spine. And let's take your arms forward. We're going to roll back. And as you breathe out, curl that pelvis under. Roll yourself down into that chest lift position, palms facing down. One leg up, second leg up. And let's go to the hundreds. We breathe out. Can you find peace in this movement? Can you find length? Clear your mind. Connect your breath with your center. Feel as light as you can. Two more times. Last one. And stay. Knees out into diamond. Bring your feet closer to us. You grab the ankles here. Now I want you to keep the arms long, but I want you to start drawing the abs in. I want you to rock that pelvis. Three more times. Two more. And last one coming up into that seated position with a diamond leg position, like so. Okay, taking a moment here again. Finding your sit bone, growing that spine long out of that pelvis. 
easiness in the neck, easiness in your forehead. Okay, now let's go into some open leg rocker modification here. So a modified open leg rocker here. Bring the leg up parallel with the ground and then let's round that spine as you inhale and then exhale coming up lengthening tall and again inhale don't rush control and in breath and exhale lifting lifting lengthening one more and lifting 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 now we stay stretching your legs out opening them keeping that spine tall let's do this again and we inhale to run and then come up if this is too much for you guys you can also do what we did before in a diamond leg position two more and the last one lifting and I'm bringing the feet together and an open. And I'm bringing the feet together and open. Two more and open. And last one. Ah, let's bring the right leg on top of the leg, left. And then take your arms off. And we're gonna roll down into a, some sort of teaser, sort of variation of teaser. Arms overhead, arms circle as you inhale, lift it up and up switch the leg and exhale if this is too challenging for you you're welcome to bring your legs into little diamond and we switch and an inhale like so and exhale let's change the breathing guys and then we go exhale down go carry the weight there inhale i'm gonna straighten my leg switch one more set and exhale inhale lift and switch and exhale and inhale lift Whoops. lift and release okay and then bring your legs down just in your position bring it back nice and straight flex the feet towards you nice and tall palms facing up again finding the easiness in the shoulder in the neck, keeping this center nice and hot and active. And let's do some spine twist. We breathe out, center. One more set. Last one. Now what's gonna happen here? We're gonna rotate towards the screen. We're gonna place the hand down, swing the other hand, bring yourself up into a side plank position. Just gonna adjust my hand there. And then coming back onto a seated position, over to the other side. And I'm bringing the arms reaching up, nice and strong and down and over again lifting reaching 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 and coming back last one lifting reaching and coming back good job cross the leg hands down on back onto all four position here now lift, I'm gonna lift my left leg up, grabbing my ankle with my opposite hand, my right hand. I'm gonna reach the leg, lifting the heart, and steady on three, two, one, and release. And let's go to the other side, lifting the opposite, my right leg, my left arm will go across to my ankle, and I'm reaching up, Lifting the heart. One, two, three, two, one, and release. Okay, I'm gonna pivot my right knee. I'm gonna turn my body towards you and coming onto a side 
kneeling position here. Okay, placing my hand behind my head, drawing my center in. I'm gonna lift my leg up and we flex. And we go kicking forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Three more. Two more. Last one. Back to the side, lower the foot down, lift that bottom hip a little bit more, stretch the top arm over for a nice lateral stretch. Coming up and then rotate your body back again onto a quadruped position. And let's pivot to the other side here, onto you, kneeling position, and then take that top arm behind the head, lifting up the leg, flexing the foot, and we kick. Two more. Last one. Back to the side, lower the foot down, reach the top arm over, and for a nice lateral stretch. And exhale. And I'm uh, pivoting yourself back into a quadruped position here. Align that shoulder and your hands. And then we're gonna descend our body down in five counts. So five, four, three, two, one. Coming down. All right, I'm gonna turn my head towards you. We're gonna do double leg kick here. So one cheek on the floor. Interlace the hands in the back of your spine. In the small of your back. Lifting the legs up. And then we go. Inhale, and other side, inhale, and, and breath, and, and breath, last set, last one, and reach, and we're gonna stay here, guys, separate the legs, and we're gonna take it into swimming legs. So we inhale, exhale. Allow the heart to be open. Allow the neck to be nice and easy. The energy is outward of your toenails, out of your head, out of your hair. One more. And legs together, release the hand, place the forearm down, and just hover the head down. And one breath. Let's go into some swan here. I'm gonna inhale to allow the shoulder to draw down as you flood the head, the neck, the upper back, mid back, and perhaps we're gonna take it all the way up into your high swan. If that's too much for you, you can just Bring your body halfway up. If you're okay with this, just take it up. And drawing the center in as you bring your body down again. Repeat three more. Inhaling. Find that nice and lightness as you move the spine up. And exhale. Easy, easy, easy. Two more. Inhale. And lifting, reaching. Easy neck, easy shoulder. Strong center. Exhale. And we go one last one. And we take it. Inhale. Coming up. And right up. And an exhale. Coming down. Coming down, coming down. And then push your body up into your rest position. Sitting the pelvis down to your heels. And you can just move the pelvis left and right if you wish to. 
And exhale, allow the hip bone to melt down onto your heels. One more breath. And rolling the spine up to sitting position here. I'm gonna stay where you are. I'm just gonna move my body. Now I want you to just find that nice and long, easy, light body back within you. Close your eyes. Let's breathe. Inhaling. Can you find a sense of a deep, deep breathing in your lungs? Can you find a sense of lightness in the shoulder? Can you find a sense of lifting from your center? Relax the mind. Be peace with yourself. Find your own sense of peacefulness, whatever it is. Own it. Be with it. One more breath. And you can open your eyes. Thank you for joining me for this class. I hope to see you in my other classes. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy what you just did today. And have a good day.